and you press this little button over to the right and this cover will release and you can remove your bobbin. Now I know I just told you that uh, we have four all together with the machine, but you may fill them up with certain colors and you may want more to put more thread on more bobbins for future use. So what do you look for when you're shopping for bobbins for sing your Singer machine, your 7258? So I'm going to show you some examples of some bobbins that are available where pretty much anywhere where you buy um, sewing notions, you'll have some sort of selection of these um, on the shelf. And you'll notice right away that I have two here that are metal. And those we obviously don't want for our machine because they're not at all similar to what we have in, in, in your machine. You want to use exactly the same style of bobbin that comes with your machine. Um, bobbins are not interchangeable from machine to machine because the machines are actually designed and calibrated for the type of bobbin that it has. So you want to make sure that you look for bobbins that are exactly what are in your machine. So clearly these two go away. And then here we have three more styles of bobbin that are also transparent, but your bobbin is called a class 15J. In this machine it's a class 15J bobbin. So right here, these all say Singer at the top, but this one says Class 66, so that's not the one I want. And then both of these say Class 15, and one says, one says 15, and one says 15J. And you might be at the store and go, oh, well, it says 15, so I'll get that one. But actually, believe it or not, these are slightly different, and they are just slightly different enough shaped that um, they, they're not interchangeable. So when you go shopping for bobbins, you want to make sure that the top of the package says class 15J, and you'll have the right ones. Okay, so let's go ahead and wind a bobbin for this machine. And I'm going to start out by putting my thread on my spool pin up here at the top of the machine. This is nice, it has like a little hinge on it and it tilts so I can kind of lift this up a little bit to help me get that on there easier. And you have those three spool caps that come with your machine, so you want to find one that fits your thread the best. And then we're going to start out by first snapping our thread. Hold your thread kind of like when you're flossing your teeth. And you'll feel this and hear this click into this top guide right here. And then we're going to bring it into this guide, like so. And then there's a diagram here. See right here where it shows me what to do for the bobbin thread? We're going to wind this around this bobbin winding tension disc. And it shows me, look on the diagram, it's like a little like a cursive letter E, the way you wrap it around this, this uh, bobbin winding tension disc here. So let's do that again. We're going to snap that in, bring it in like so. And then we're going to wrap that around there, make sure it goes into the slot. There's like a, 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 you can see it there, I'll move it with my fingernail, I'll get it, make sure it goes in there. Like, just go wrap around it like a little cursive letter E. And then when we come over here to the bobbin winding spindle and bobbin winding stopper, um, let me just trim the thread, this is getting a little long. What you want to do here is put your thread in through the center of the bobbin and out the hole. So let me just find that, there we go, like that. Um, what you don't want to do is put this on wrap it around and around and around and then push it over and wind because it might not wind properly and it might wind really sloppy when you do that and um, if it winds not r nice and smooth you uh, won't have good stitch quality so you want to make sure you wind your bobbin properly so we're going to put the thread from the center out find that there it is that little hole and go out through the center up Set that on your bobbin winding spindle and make sure it goes all the way down. This should be, by the way, this should be over to the left when you do this. If it's over to the right, it, your bobbin won't go down all the way. And if you turn this, it, your thread might start winding under your bobbin. So make sure this is to the left before you uh, put, it, put your bobbin down onto the spindle. Push that all the way down and then push it to the right. And we're going to hold this loose tail end. Step on your foot controller. Oopsie. Here's, oh, here, I'm going to show you what happened here. My thread got caught on my spool, so I'm just going to release that. Just got caught on this little spot on my thread spool, so let me just free that up. That's why it wasn't advancing. Okay, make sure that should be okay now. Yeah, there we go. And so after that does a few revolutions, you want to stop and th trim that thread tail and then continue winding. 
Now, there's a bobbin winder, winding stopper here that will, uh, when my, once my bobbin gets full, it will stop winding. But you can stop winding yourself anytime by just taking your foot off the foot controller. And this will wind faster. Right now, at the front of my machine, my speed control is set at a slow speed. I can move this all the way over to the right and speed that up if I want to. You can set this however you want. So let's say that's enough thread for what we're going to do right now. So now to remove it, I'm going to push it to the left and then lift my bobbin up off the stopper and then trim the thread. And we're ready to insert the bobbin into the machine.